I hope this video finds everybody safe and well. Um, seems we can't go anywhere much or do anything much, so I thought I'd knock together a quick information video based on uh, a comment I saw come up on Twitter. Nick on Twitter made a remark about climate control on a touch screen being a bit rubbish, and I tend to agree. So um, I made the comment back about the fact that in my Model S, you can use the right thumb scroll wheel on the steering wheel to adjust the fan speed and the climate setting. So I thought I'd make a quick video to show everybody just how you do that. Here's my Model S steering wheel and you've got thumb scroll wheels on the left and the right. And the one that's particularly interesting uh, today is this little button down here which looks a little bit like a menu item and that's because it is. If I press this button, um, watch what happens to the screen on the dashboard. So I can then use my scroll wheel and move through what I want scroll wheel to control. So as a default I have that set to, set to temperature but you can also change it to fan speed so if you click the scroll wheel it allows you to increase the fan speed or decrease the fan speed. If I press the menu item again, I can then do the temperature. So at the moment I've got 19 degrees set, but if I scroll wheel, I can warm it up. And down here on my main screen, you can see that that is changing as well and I can cool it down. If you have a sunroof, I believe that you can um, you can change the scroll wheel to open and close the sunroof as well. Um, I've got the full glass roof so I don't get the option when I click on the menu. So I've got temperature, fan speed, display, calls and contacts. The other things that you can do with the scroll wheels is if you long press on the score or scroll wheel itself, it changes what you can display on the left and the right on your dash. So if I click that, at the moment I've got media on the left and energy on the right, but you can display a clock. You can display your trip meters, you can display your car status, um, and if you've got a telephone call on the go, you can display your calls. On the left hand one, if I long click this, again you've got a clock, your music, energy, trip meters, car status, and you can put navigation up on here. And at the moment, because I've got no nav set, it says there's no route. Well, that's hopefully some useful information that you can use for setting up your car to be a little bit more user friendly and um, have to touch the touch screen a little bit less. If there's anything else that um, you think you'd like to know a bit more about, send me a message, comment below. Uh, I'll be quite happy to look into it and um, see if I can't pop together a video that's helpful and useful for everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.